In this video, I would like to introduce you to Cololab Freelab, a brand new plugin for Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve that is going to simplify your color management down to a single click. But uh, Freelab is a little bit more than that. And in this short video, I would like to explain to you all cool things that you can do with it. Freelab is built upon foundation of Colorlab AI color engine, which is a brand new type of color engines. Now, what is color engine? You probably ask yourself, well, it's very simply explained like you have in games, Unreal or Unity. So we have engines in color that when given certain instructions and parameters, give us the look. So Freelab is basically one of such engines that is very advanced and tuned towards its adoption to working with AI. So what's unique about this color engine is that it supports more cameras than any other color management system out there. You've probably seen color management systems like ACES or one in DaVinci Resolve or one in Filmlight Baselight. Well, mostly they support professional cameras, but Colorlabs Engine supports an iPhone, a GoPro, or any other camera that has a serial number of more than 10. As a matter of fact, Freelab Color Engine works with cameras of an unknown origin. So what does it mean? So let's say somebody sends you material. They don't know what camera it was shot on anymore. Maybe it's downloaded from some archive. It just looks like a log footage. Well, we have a special setting for those cameras where we try to recognize and give you the best possible results, even if you don't know what camera it was shot. With. This is also an interesting example you know, like for, you know, it can happen that you might be working with some media like here that is downloaded from an archive and there is absolutely no information to what camera it is. We can tell that it's some form of log, right? But what log is it? It's very, very hard to, dis to understand, to know. So what you do in those situations? Well, you know, you can trial and error it or something like that, but the easy thing what you do with a free lab, right? You basically drag the the free lab on and then there is this setting called log generic okay so look it's called log generic and when you put it as a log generic what it does it does try to best get the best possible um, result for you by simply um, you know trying to guess you know what um, you know camera um, it is you know so basically it will it will never actually like you know it will try to protect your your shadow and highlight right so you see even though this looks a little bit darker look if i open it you see everything is still fully protected so i have all of the content there nothing is clipping nothing is crushing right which is kind of really what you want you know when you want always some level of tonal mapping on your output side so that you can easily work with your with your and this is actually looking amazing look just out of the box so you see log generic it's a solution for for those moments when you don't really know what camera it is and can happen and on top of that you know, while, you know, DaVinci's color management is so powerful, there are some cameras that are not represented there. So let's see what that might be. So for example, you know, I have um, Adobe RGB color space, right? This is a wide color space for photos, right? Then another thing I have, we have here is a Filmic. It's a great little, like a tool, you know, the app and it has its own log. Well, there you go. You can, you know, work with Filmic. Um, then um, basically you have the Kinelog for 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 you know the Kine camera. Then you have um, you know uh, stuff like a, like a Zlog. You even have an iPhone footage. You have a special Sony Venice settings and so on and so on and so on. So it really like expands the possibility of what cameras you can work with and what you can color manage. And you know what? It's a free little plugin. It's you know just you know you can have it and it's a really useful tool you know to have just to, if you ever find yourself in a situation that you want to work with cameras and you don't know which ones they they are or you just want to work faster with a single click color management color lab free lab is optimized to work in real time and you get some exo one files to start with and I'm really looking forward to hearing what you think about it in comments below. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have more interesting videos like this coming up. And also, don't forget some of our full training courses we have. Just follow the link in the description of the video below.